Hello, family and friends. It is Kanoe. I'm back with another journal with me process video. And as always, just trying to figure out which page to journal on. And of course, taking a pit stop here at the one a day. Somebody was asking me where this is from. If this is the first time you are here, welcome. But these are from the Flow Paper Lovers book. And I call them one a days just because that's what I use them for. I basically put them in my journal. There's a line for every single day. And then I just write down like the one event or the one thing that I wanted to keep in my memory about that particular day. So this page I actually started a while back uh, last week sometime. I wrote Week in Review. I had planned to put these things down and then I didn't end up doing it. So, of course, we just come back to the same old thing, and my son had another football game. It was another blowout. <laughs> so, you know, this is a whole process. It's a whole journey, and I'm making sure to take note just so that we can look back on it one day and be like, remember when, remember that season when you guys were losing? <laughs> but that's basically um, the end of that. My daughter and I were in the stands the biggest cheerleaders, of course. Okay, so I have a couple of photos that I wanted to place into this envelope here, and I ended up doing some journaling on it a little bit later. I was going to journal on this page behind it, so I started off by collaging a little bit. Um, my journal is getting very thick, so I'm trying hard not to put too many bulky pieces in it. Um, and I told myself I wouldn't even put too many more pictures in here because the photo paper, of course, is very thick. But that is hard for me to do just because I I love the visual aspect of junk journaling. I love having the photos in there for the memories. And so uh, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep going until it can't go anymore. <laughs> so I'm doing some journaling. Got some old book page. Um, this is a piece of wallpaper here that I just tore off. And then I was going to place this photo here and journal about it. But then I thought, no, it just isn't fitting right. So I decided to place it on that backing there and put it somewhere else in my journal. And I left this page to be, I figured, well, this is just going to be a journaling page for another time. Of course, I love my Tiny Attacher by Tim Holtz. That stapler is awesome. Okay, so I'm looking for a page now for this particular photo. Um, this photo is a picture of me laying by the pool with my dog. This is our favorite spot <laughs> with a book. Uh, it's what we do every single day to decompress. And I just finished Daisy Jones and the Six. This book took forever to read. It was the read, it was the book between the books. Um, I just couldn't get into it. And I finally put it on my did not finish list, but then someone told me, download the audiobook. And so I did, and I listened to about half of it until I was able to finally get into it enough to read it. Um, it's just because it's in interview style and I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. And then of course I'm placing a little label here from the candle that I'm currently burning from Trader Joe's. I like to do that just to remember what scent I was burning at the time of these journal entries. And then I'm moving on. Okay, here, uh, this is, so this is one of the things we're going through right now. Currently, my cousin, who's actually my age, very young, I mean, early 40s, he just got into a little bit of an accident and ended up in a coma and he did not make it. So I am journaling about that. And, you know, it was definitely a tragic loss. Um, he has young children. He has a beautiful wife we just lost his mom, my auntie, and my, my uncle now has cancer. And so it's just a really tragic time for this whole family. So I, you know, had to put my thoughts down. I mean, it's just one of the ways that I process things. And I'm glad I had this little space here because that card there from my friend Robin talks about you're a good, good father. And it's just a reminder that even if we pray for things like begging for him to live, begging for God to bring him back to us and he didn't, it doesn't mean that he isn't good. And it doesn't mean that God isn't faithful still. It just wasn't in the plan. His plan was to bring his son home. And so that's what he did. So this was my journal entry for the first day of fall. Again, I was not very creative because this was the day that I found out that my cousin had passed. So I'm just taking these leaves from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale, 50% off, of course, with all the fall decor. 
and I'm glad I got them. Um, I love having borders on my pages. And so this was a really easy way to have a cute fall border. And then I loved the way that those leftover leaves looked just laying on the page. And so I just put a dot of glue on there to look like they're kind of just falling from a tree onto the page. <laughs> so I didn't glue them down completely. I just put a little dot so that they could kind of be resting on that piece of paper. And then at, there is this gold and bronze kind of confetti, I guess, um, that was in the fall decor as well. So I picked that up. I mean, gosh, I want to say these things were only like two bucks after they were the 50% off. And so I took a photo of, hmm, what was this photo? Okay. <laughs> the only fall decor that I have going on, which is right outside my front door, my daughter has been begging me to decorate and I'm not real big on decorating for Halloween, but I told her I'll decorate for fall. And so we did this. I might go out and buy a few other things to decorate inside the home, but I just know myself, I won't take it down and it, Christmas will come and go and we'll still have pumpkins up. So <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it simple. Um, but the funny thing is, is that Yes, it is fall and everybody is, you know, across the world probably donning their sweaters and drinking their pumpkin spice lattes and it is 100 degrees in Vegas still. So it means absolutely nothing. <laughs> the, the, you know, season change here is no season change. Here I had some digitals from an Etsy shop. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but I downloaded these a really long time ago. I want to say like five or six years ago. And so I remembered that I had these and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and print some out because I haven't seen these in a while. I can't even remember the last time I used them. I don't remember which journal they're in. So for me, it's like a brand new image. Uh, I was going to put it on my autumn page, but I just didn't feel like it fit it, because of the pink coloring. And so I thought, well, it looks really cute on this page that's already kind of collaged. So I placed it here and I figured, okay, here's another journaling spot. That way I don't have all the pressure to decorate a page before I want to journal. Um, that's what keeps me from journaling in the first place is thinking, oh, I don't have time to sit down. I don't have time to decorate. And then I won't end up journaling my thoughts and then time will pass and I'll forget. And then, you know, I may have missed out on a really great memory that I didn't record. So just lettering here, happy fall. And basically writing about everything that I just said, how it does not feel like fall here in Vegas. <laughs> um, but I will say it feels more like fall than it ever did in Hawaii. I mean, in Hawaii, September tends to be one of the hottest months. It gets very humid. A lot of those hurricanes come to the north. And so it brings in all of that heat. And I always kind of despised fall because of that. I despise the pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> so I will start to enjoy them as soon as that cooler weather comes into the desert. And then I have this USPS envelope that's been sitting here waiting to be decorated. So I'm just taking a really thin piece of collage paper and mindlessly decorating. I'm not putting too much thought into it. I'm just trying to get something down so that this page is decorated. And once again, um, basically just trying to have something to finish off this journal because I'm going to tell you, I'm almost done with it. Um, I thought it would last me well through October and it's not going to, unfortunately. Uh, I can't add too much more to this. And so I'm basically going to have to just take her out journaling on all the pages. So that's what I've kind of been doing. So there won't be too many more journal with me's in this because I figured it might be a little boring for you to just watch me write down my thoughts on pages. So uh, you'll see it once I do a full and final flip through, but otherwise I probably won't do too much more decorating in here. Uh, if I do anything, maybe some art process videos, <laughs> I'm not an artist, but maybe some messy art, um, which I do end up doing after this one anyway. So I think it, yeah, it's right here on the back of this page because there was so much bleed through, I decided to go ahead and paint over it so that I wouldn't have to look at that ugly backside of the page. So I'm just using some gesso here to put down a layer so that I won't have so much bleed on the other side whenever I do add any paint or inks. Um, I'm really enjoying this messy art process. And I was talking to my stepdad the other day because he's, he's like a legit artist. Like his sketch, he can do portraits and sketch, sketches and paint. Um, not paint. What do you call that? Pa pen. He does like the pinpoint art. Uh, and I didn't really tell him that I was doing this kind of art and he doesn't watch these videos, but 
he was saying that he doesn't, you know, he was kind of just voicing his opinion how he doesn't really appreciate the new wave of messy art. <laughs> I don't blame him. I mean, because, you know, abstract art sometimes is very effortless uh, and doesn't take much time quote, talent, although there are some abstract artists who are very talented. But, um, you know, for him, with his artwork, it's so finely detailed. And it truly is a gift that he has. And it is a true talent. Um, and it isn't just him slapping stuff down on the paper like I'm doing. I mean, I'm not by no, I'm by no means an artist, you know, I just, but I enjoy the process of it. And that is what's most important. And I, I think he's just kind of old school in his thinking about art and that's fine. You know, we don't, everybody has their own thoughts and, um, and nobody is right or wrong. I don't think, I think everybody can, you know, you have a right to the way you feel about art and it's kind of like singers, you know, like not everyone's a good singer, but if someone enjoys it, then go for it. Why not sing away? This is like me, basically me singing in my shower right now is doing art because <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not very good at it. So anyway, um, and I appreciate those of you who do end up coming back and saying, you know, don't worry about what other people say or think you don't have to say you're not good or whatever. But I'm like, you know, I just, I'm just owning it. I am just being honest with you guys. Like I know that I'm not an artist, um, but I'm doing this so that I give other people who feel the same way permission to then go and explore without feeling like they can't because they don't have the talent or the raw talent to do it, you know? So that's all I'm trying to do here um, by doing this is just say, go have fun. I'm having, th like, this brings me so much joy and so much peace to my soul to be able to just slap stuff down onto a page and then hope to God that it comes out. <laughs> and eventually it just, it kind of does, you know, it kind of comes together. I wasn't completely thrilled with this page. Um, I had a little quote there that I was going to put on the page and then I ended up just writing it on with gold pen. Um, just because I didn't feel like that little piece fit. So some of the things that I did here, I used a little circle punch with some scraps that I had. And now I am adding a piece of tracing paper because like I said, I wasn't super thrilled with this. So I was like, well, I want to be able to see it, but not fully. <laughs> Can we just have a little bit of clouded vision over this piece of quote art? Uh, so I decided to take a piece of tracing paper and do some journaling. And that way, you know, I wouldn't... I, I feel like it's not a wasted space, I guess. Um, I wrote there, Mercury is in retrograde. <laughs> and then I don't know if I so much believe in all of that stuff, but I'm writing it anyway because I kind of expressed how I'd been going through some like anx anxiety or maybe slight depression, I guess. Like when I looked up what depression was like, I had some of the symptoms um, over the past couple of weeks and I haven't ever gone through that before. So I was talking about it on my Instagram and my Facebook and I had some people reach out to me and a very, everybody was so sweet and so supportive, but somebody said Mercury's in retrograde. And then so many other people are like, yes, I've been feeling the same way. So, you know, maybe there is something to say about whatever that means. I honestly don't even know what it means when we say those things. It's something about Mercury going backwards. Is that right? I don't know. In the, in the solar system. I don't know. Maybe somebody can explain it to me down below, but here we are just covering up a page. I sat here and said, I'm not going to add any more, but look at me adding more. But this, uh, I believe this is from the, is it from the October kit? It might be October or September. Uh, Little Bindi's journaling kit. This page was just so cute too cute not to put into this journal. And so I decided to place it in there and prep that page for another day when I want to have my journal ready so that I don't keep myself from journaling. This is, you know, basically giving me a chance to do something in my journal without having to think too hard. So this pretty much wraps up what I did with this journal with me process. I am now going to transition into happy mail that I received from my new pen pals, Missy and Brenna. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to tune out now, I would love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And until then, I will see you on the next video. Ahoy ho. Please stick around though for this 
Happy Mail receipt. I'm going to start with this one from my friend Missy. We are actually high school classmates and we reconnected over the years uh, through crafting and junk journaling and all kinds of stuff. And we actually were saying a long time ago that we were going to do kind of like little swaps and um, just the chaos of life, it never happened. So <laughs> she's so sweet. She she was like, I'm going to send you something. So she did. And I hope it's okay that I'm sharing this. Uh, but I just thought it's always so fun to be able to show the things that people, you know, gift to you. So here we are. I'm so excited, Missy. Thank you so very much. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this little, is this like a card card? bag or money bag. I don't know. That's adorable though. I love that. Okay. I'm going to, Oh, she got me some stationery. This is so cute. Look at that. Bonjour. <laughs> For some of my pen pal ventures. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I don't even know where to begin. There's so many things here. A little card. This is adorable for junk journaling or for even sending a card to someone. Oh, so many things. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, so you can actually use this as the envelope. Okay, I'm going to read this off camera. Hang on. Okay, so this this is just so much fun because, I mean, we were pretty good friends in high school. You know, we were cheerleaders together and uh, I just love this. Love, love, love this. And thank you, Missy. I will definitely share this with Rel. I was going to be selfish and keep it for myself, but... Yes, I will share it with my daughter. Okay, so here is something that she actually made for me. And I always love it when people say, it's just something small, it's no big deal. And then you look at it and you're like, that is a big deal. <laughs> like, you obviously put so much thought into this and it's just so stinking cute. Ugh. I don't even know where people get their creativity. I always am so just amazed at when I watch videos or when I flip through things and oh my gosh okay so there's a little pocket here with some oh cute oh my gosh that is so cute that is definitely definitely going to be something that is going into my journal or maybe even i don't know i might end up putting that on the outside of a journal because it is a little thicker that is adorable missy so so cute oh let's do it this way <clears throat> Love this. I really need to start watching some YouTube videos so I can get some ideas on how to make some of these things that you guys do. Okay, so is this another pocket? Oh my gosh! Oh, that is so cute. I love that. That's going to be really cute to embellish some things. Adorable little card. It's so hard for me to take these things apart and actually use them because it's so adorable and the thought that went into it. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to take it apart. May God grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed in Jesus name. <laughs> you are a gift from God and that's how I'll treat you. Oh, I love this. Love, 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 love this. Gosh, this little booklet is so cute. Look, please. Oh, these little tuck spots. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes, that is adorable. I love having little, I always have, I don't always have this, but I have several times had a little um, circle in my journal where, you know, it's just kind of an interactive piece. So that is so cute. I love that Brad that has the K on it. Very, very cute. Um, definitely using that. <laughs> so cute. How many times can I say so cute? So cute. Sound like a church girl. So good. <laughs> oh, that's cute adorable. I need to get better with my collaging. These collages are little clusters are adorable. Oh my gosh, Missy. You are awesome. This is why we were always friends. And then this piece, she actually crocheted herself. Missy, you know what's going to go? You know what? You know where this is going? This is going to go on my wall. I'm going to show you guys my wall. So if you're not following me on Instagram, this is the wall that I'm always talking about. It is my granny chic, if maximalist, uh, eclectic, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, but it's kind of all of my favorite things, fun things that I love, anything that makes me happy. And I really think that this handmade 
crocheted square would fit perfectly on this wall. So the question is, where do we put her? Up there? No, because that's too close to that one. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I might, I might even take that one down and put this one up. Thank you, Missy. So here is another card. That's adorable. This is a Valentine card, but it doesn't look like it. I love this envelope on the inside there. And then this was from, I believe she said it was a vintage quilting square. Oh my gosh. This could even go on my wall. <laughs> it's so hard for me to use these kinds of things. I might have to scan this to keep it in my files and maybe I can create little digital doilies for myself for my um for my own files and then this could actually go into oh gosh this would be really cute in a junk journal I do like having fabric in my junk journals but could also make really cute pockets oh I don't know I don't know what I'll do and then these are sewing patterns which she did mention to me that she was going to send them to me um, because I didn't have any. I've, I, I've never bought patterns before, although I just recently did from a thrift store. Um, but, but this is going to be really fun to use these in collaging and in projects. And so I'm excited to take a look at some of the things that I can do with these pattern pages. What do you call this? See, I don't even know. I'm not a sewer, so I don't really know what the technical term is for this, <laughs> but I know what they are. They're for, for patterns, right? Missy, thank you so much. I'm glad you're feeling better. I actually got hit with a bug, so it took me a little bit to get back into the swing of things, and here I am, and I am so excited to be here and doing this, finally getting into this awesome happy mail. I am thrilled. I need to take some pictures so that I do not... I always forget to do that, forget to take photos, and then I get mad at myself. I'm like, why didn't I take a photo? Okay, thank you, Missy. I love, love, love it, love it, love it. Okay, next up is from another pen pal. <laughs> I don't know, can you call pen pal mail happy mail? Uh, but this one is from my new friend, Brenna, which is pretty cool that we connected because she's actually from Hawaii. And so, um, you know, we were just talking a, a tiny bit through messaging and she said she's a card maker and she's like, even though I'm not a card, you know, a junk journal, I'm a card maker. And, and I'm like, well, of course I would love to pen pal with a card maker. I absolutely love these. I, I've just never had the, I guess, I mean, there's a reason why I'm a junk journaler because I'm not very good at making these perfect, <laughs> perfect little things. So, Brenna, thank you already. I I already adore it, just the packaging alone. So, I love this, love this. Happy blooming birthday. I'm always amazed at how card makers layer up all of their items and, you know, I mean, the thought process that goes into it, like the stamping and and that's her, that's is her jam. Brenna's jam is mostly stamping. Um, but, you know, like the ones with the die cuts and, oh my goodness, I just blown away. I have a newfound love for handmade anything, right? And whether it's vintage or not, but um, I just think it's adorable to be able to give a handmade card to somebody. So that is very cute. An adorable little birthday card. Sending love your way. I can only imagine your stamp collection, Brenna. Like this, these are so beautiful and stamps are expensive. <laughs> I'm just... I always am amazed when I go to, you know, the stores and I see the stamps and even online and I can't bring myself to buy them. I mean, I I will buy the clear ones, you know, because they're a little bit cheaper, but the wood ones are especially so expensive. This is gorgeous. Thank you for being you. Love that. And, you know, you figure card makers like Hallmark or whoever, they, they started off by basically doing this probably, right? I mean, hand making cards and then saying we can mass produce these things thank you so so much that's an adorable thank you card I will definitely be using that Brenna thank you so much these are so cute you are very talented with your card making and then I'm assuming I can only assume that this is our letter beautiful beautiful I love that one's very cute oh okay there's my letter I'm gonna read it off camera 
Brenna, thank you so much. These are so cute, and I am going to get on it, both Missy and Brenna. My correspondence back to you. So very grateful, and stay tuned for the next Pen Pal with me.